Good run. Good run. Solid distance. Yo, friend. It happened. I went on a run with Casey. To do this story justice, we need to take it back to the beginning of 2018. I had this Aristotle reference bouncing around in my head, and that is, we are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. I'm gonna tell you more about the significance of that quote to me in a moment, but first, if you don't know who I am, I'm Levi, and I make what I call adventure documentaries, essentially short films showcasing people pushing their personal limits. I spend a lot of time behind a computer editing the films that I make. It very much feels like the journey of post-production is a long distance endurance race. As a side note, I just started releasing my first web series for free on YouTube. You should probably check it out. And as much as I'm pushing for excellence in every single video that I make, I realized that my health, both mentally and physically, were starting to atrophy the more time that I spent behind my computer. Now, let me take a moment to talk to you about Casey Neistat. Not only does he work ridiculously hard, but he also runs basically every day. And over the years, the biggest takeaway that I've gotten from the videos that he makes is helping me wake up and realize what an opportunity it is to be making videos right now. The fact that I can make a video by myself and deliver it and share it directly with people like you, that is simply incredible. And so this ability to self-publish and find an audience for my work is an incredible gift and something that I wanna be doing years from now. And if that's true, I should probably take some notes from the guy who reinvented the way that internet videos are made and start to take more seriously my physical routine and what's gonna keep me healthy so I'm actually able to be making the videos a decade from now, two decades from now, and be happy and healthy while doing it. When I found out that Casey and I were by chance traveling to the same conference at a location that could not have been <laughs> more random, I couldn't help but start to get excited about meeting him for the first time and also just sharing with him how much I appreciate the impact his work has had on my life. And the more and more I thought about this, I realized maybe instead of trying to tell him with words, I should actually just show him with my actions. What have I gotten to good enough shape to that way of at the conference, Casey invited me on a run, I could actually go on it with him and keep up. Oh, I feel the creatures creeping inside Like leeches leaving me dry Though they're gonna feel my pain And fall to dust when I feel my flame I see no warning signs and up to this point, I had never run more than 10 kilometers. And about four or five weeks into the challenge, I was doing 50 kilometers a week. And partway into this challenge, I saw some other videos being uploaded to YouTube directed at Casey. And they were really inspiring and, and, and incredibly well done. And they were blowing up on YouTube because of it. And, and I was starting to feel like my silly little running series of getting into shape was maybe just a, maybe just a dumb idea. Maybe this whole make a series of videos to get attention of Casey thing was, I, I honestly just felt like an imposter. I felt like it was a dumb idea and that maybe I should just pull the plug. But with, with each new day, I was getting messages in my inbox of people that were going out and running, that were going out and being active. I was getting sent video clips of people like you going out and doing things that were challenging them. It, it turns out I'm not the only one who's been struggling to build routine into my life. And when people saw me sharing my journey, it was inspiring them. And that to me just put a whole new level of fuel on the fire. And I just knew I had to see this challenge all the way through to the end, no matter what was gonna happen. Like I just had to start and finish it. So let's fast forward 14 weeks later. As someone who's never been able to keep up a physical routine of going to the gym or going on runs, I've now gone on over 70 runs and I'm now in the best shape of my life. So deep. I sink my soul till it's out of reach. Oh, they gonna and just like that, we've landed in Boise. <laughs> so we're here in Idaho for the conference, and there was still one big problem. And that was, I had not yet heard from Casey. And my theory with this whole project was, even though I know people that are friends with Casey, 
I didn't want to message them asking asking them to share my videos with him. I, I, I didn't want to ask anybody to pull any favors to try to get the videos in front of Casey or to ask for me. It was kind of one of those things where if Casey didn't find out about the videos naturally on his own, maybe, maybe it just shouldn't happen. So here we are in Idaho. It's the first day of the conference. I haven't heard from Casey yet. And I get this text from an unknown number. It says, hey Levi, I am with Casey. Give me a call. The text was from a staff member who's helping put on the conference and he was with Casey and they were talking about my running challenge. And so I, I called him immediately and he said, yo man, can you run right now? Uh, of course I can go on a run right now. Thanks for the call, Matt. I just got a phone call. It's time to put on these tights because uh, Casey wants to go on a run. <laughs> I can't believe this right now. Like I, I just, I'm gonna head down to the foyer and, and, and you might meet me there. <laughs> Hey, good run. Good run. Solid distance. How oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, I went for a run like that, like 20 minutes ago with that guy right there. There was like a moment where I was like, maybe we could like skip the whole talk thing so we could keep this run going. <laughs> Good run today, man. Solid, solid. Boise's hot. Boise's warm. <laughs> it's hot for me, cold, cold for you. Dude, I feel like if it's not dark out till 10.30, we can get surfing in. I think we should make it happen. You wanna go surfing? We gotta get dinner, but maybe after that. So, so if I track down surfboards, uh, and I'll meet you there. Very seriously done. No, no, we okay. get the hotel. Okay, I'll get surfboards. Very seriously interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't put this in your video. people on the way by far, but we did it. 